Hey guys, Joelster here. Welcome back to the channel. So this time I have a brand new budget TV from Hisense. This is the R8F. This is a full array local dimming TV with features like Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos, HDR10. And at first glance, it looks very similar to the H8F that was released last year. But this model now has the Roku operating system instead of Android and also Dolby Atmos. So if that's something that you're looking for, well, maybe then this TV is for you. Welcome to the channel, I'm Jolster, and let's do this. Alright, so first of all, this is a 65 inch TV and it's massive. Well, I have only reviewed 55 inch sizes before, so 65 looks big to me. That's what she said. <laughs> Anyways, the TV build is made of plastic with very slim bezels, I like that. And I was very surprised also how slim this is besides being full array. Now the legs are made of aluminum and you have the option to have them either at the center of the TV or at each end. Now this is a nice touch for people who doesn't have a large TV stand. All the ports are located in the left hand side and includes AV RCA, LAN port, line out, HDMI, antenna port, 3.5 millimeter jack, another three HDMI 2.0 ports, a USB and optical port for audio. The controller is the same as all the Roku devices, small, simple and easy to navigate and you also have voice commands. Alright, so let's jump into performance because that's what we're here for to see, right? Alright, so Hisense is using ULED technology for enhanced colors which does produce a beautiful picture. And the TV also comes equipped with full array and local dimming for better black levels and contrast. Now the 65 inch version that I have comes with 60 dimming zones, while the 55 inch version comes with 55 zones. Now remember that the more dimming zones, less likely to have light bleed issues. But it also depends a lot on the processing power. So, so far the picture looks great, although the black levels are not comparable to my OLED, but I'm surprised how beautiful the picture looks. Now browsing through the menus, it's easy. You get access to basic picture settings, audio adjustments, also local dimming, brightness, color temperature, and the TV also offers motion enhancements. Now this works great with movies, but some people don't like it because it adds soap opera effect. Me personally, I do like it, so I'm glad that I have this option. Now the TV also offers game mode, so if you want to connect your consoles like your Xbox or PlayStation, you will have the lowest input lag possible. Now gaming on this TV is a blast, it feels very responsive, I didn't see any ghosting or stuttering, and I play many different games from first person shooters to single player games, and I had a great experience. Now I noticed that a lot of people think that when buying a 4K TV everything is going to be in 4K, and that's not the case. You see TVs have to upscale lower resolutions like 1080p or 720p to 4K, and not all of them do it right. Fortunately, this TV does a very good job, but of course, you want to take full advantage of your brand new TV, right? So, I highly recommend 4K content, and for that, the Roku operating system has lots of options. Now, Roku makes everything easy. You can personalize your favorite apps or the home screens for faster access. The controller also has shortcuts to Netflix, Hulu, ESPN, and Roku channels that offer 4K content. It also has voice commands to make things even easier. Show me movies in 4K. Open Roku channel. So this is great for anyone, even if you don't have any experience with TVs. Now, like I mentioned, this TV also supports HDR and Dolby Vision. It is rated at 700 nits of peak brightness, and you do see more highlights and improved contrast when watching Dolby Vision content from Netflix or maybe your movies. I personally use dark HDR for movies. I feel that the whole picture overall looks more natural, and it works great at night or in a dark room. Now, if you're in a bright room, oh, then I would recommend bright HDR but I do wish that the TV was a little bit brighter. Now the R8F also offers Dolby Atmos. It has different sound presets from normal, speech to improve dialogue, theater for movies, 
bass, treble, music. I like how theater sounds, it just feels richer from all the presets. But of course, if you want to truly enjoy sound, I highly recommend at least a soundbar or a home theater with speakers. Overall, this TV is great for the price. I mean, $600 for a 65-inch version is a steal, and $450 for the 55-inch version. Honestly, if you have the space, I highly recommend to go for the 65-inch version. Those extra 10 inches do make a difference, and everything just feels more immersive. It's, it's really great, guys. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And also, leave, leave me your comments in the comment section. I will try to read everything as much as I can and to answer all your questions. Also, if you want to see more videos with me playing with this TV, with the Xbox One X or the PlayStation, I'm going to leave links right at the end of this video so you guys can check those videos out. Alright, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm Joster. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Just her out. Oh, hey guys. Joster here. Thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video. By the way, if you enjoyed this content, if you like this kind of content and you would like to support this channel, first off, make sure you like and subscribe. And also, you, you can become a member. Just hit that join button. You get access to some of the emojis that I created. And also, you get early access to some of my videos, in the aftermath of the live stream that I do. But mostly, just want to support this channel, hit that membership program. All right, I'm working on more videos right now, so make sure you stay tuned for more. I'll see you guys. Joe's around.